Hey guys, welcome back to the Phoenix Podcast. I'm Brandon McDevitt. I'm Tiffany Pfeiffer. And I'm Serena Gap. Today, we're going to be talking about if aliens (laughs) exist or not. All right. Roll call. Who? Not roll call. Tally vote. Who says aliens do exist? Raise your hand. Oh, how about that? Mm. Savannah, (laughs) I hate to break it to you. They don't exist. <laughs> no. Um, okay. okay let, me hear, let me hear your argument. Let me hear your yeah. argument. So, in an ever-expanding just... universe with billions of galaxies that we don't even know about, thousands, millions, billions, trillions of planets that we have never even set our eyes on, you think there's no way that there is any other moving, living creature, plant, oh, wait, Are we talking about intelligent life forms? Are we talking about intelligent aliens life forms? Because are yes, yes. The, I mean, even okay. Yes, there. Uh, it's out there. Mm-hmm. You don't think that there is just something out there that has its own colony, that has its own upbringing. You know, like in an ever expanding universe, it's ever expanding, and you don't think that there's any chance that there is something remotely like us. Remotely. I think there was or there will. I think there's there I think there was I do see your point of the uh possible mm-hmm. probability of there being any life form out there, and that's just thinking that there is none with it being kind of infinite. Right? There has to be a chance. But I like to think of it if there's a ninety nine point nine percent chance that there's life forms out there, I think we're the zero point one percent. Right, you know what I mean. Okay, but like, you have a hundred planets, and then trillions. Yeah, but then of planets. Are, there's so many conditions, so many variables that factor into yeah. life form. You know what I mean? Yeah, but what if something like, like not just, I, I, wait, so so it's one, if one variable, uh, like looking at our solar system, if one single variable was slightly different, we wouldn't be here today. Is that good? Exactly. Everything is so perfect exactly. in such a position. Um, that's it, it's so rare for a for the variables to be able to add up. It's not that I don't think there could possibly. It's just with looking right, at right. all the different variables and all the different things that had to add up to have life right, right. now. It is very, very, le- very, very least likely for it to happen again. Not saying it can't and it won't. It's just the problem. Um, looking at all the variables and stuff, it's really hard to see if there can be. Yeah, see it happening. I yeah, and I mean, when I first was like, you know, I don't know, starting like middle school and stuff, I'm like, there's no way, there is no way. But then you learn that this is, you know, <laughs> we can never reach the edge of the universe because it is continuously expanding. That yeah, it's, that it's kind of you know, it's Thanks. that was kind of going in my mind. I'm like, hey, there has to be another perfect condition somewhere out there. And Brandon, when you say, I think there was or there will be, but yeah, not currently, I question that. What? Why do? Why don't you think right now? I think we are the right now. I think we're that life form. So let's say, okay, here's the thing. When you think about the history of, of our whole entire planet, we're very small, right? It's a fraction of time itself. You look at uh, and you compare the that universe, we're very small. Exactly. Yeah, like. So, what? how are we going to line up with some other civilization? You know what I mean? It's hard for us to be on the same level. I could say, freaking, you know, two billion, trillion, I don't know how many zeros you want whatever, all of them, Google Plus, all right, hours of, or hours, years, uh, there was civilization. We know nothing. You know why? Because we never were able to get there. Could have been on the other side of the universe, right? So there was. Now this is our turn and our fraction of a size time. And then I do think human race might end. (laughs) <laughs> hopefully not hopefully not that's not oh, what i'm striving for things come to an end great and not great, great things. <laughs> so 
All things going on in. <laughs> yeah, all things. Yeah, great and not great. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Do they? Apparently, Star Wars trilogies one end. Uh, <laughs> it, stop. No, it's not. It's Mark at, like, <laughs> I also so got to spider. say, it's quite humbling when you look at, like, if you get, like, see a picture of the galaxy and to know we're, like, off to the side. Like, we're not the center of our galaxy. Right. We're not the center of our universe. We're off to the side somewhere hmm? when you look at the whole picture. Right. We're so small. In such a small time. I don't it's... want to get into how pointless each of our lives are, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's got to be something to wake up in the pointless, morning. Pointless, but like for for the people who like seem to act like they're entitled to everything and that they're like the center of the universe and stuff. Like newsflash, you're not the center of the universe. You're yeah. you're meaningful and they're, they're, like there there's there's got to be some point if we're alive. There's got to be a reason for it. Hopefully. So we're not meaningless, but like we're not the center of the world. The world doesn't revolve around us. Unless you're rich, sure. then the world does revolve around us. <laughs> then you pay 51.6% of the taxes. <laughs> yeah, you, you, pay for the, you pay for the world to revolve around you. Yeah. Um, oh I just. Do you I, think I, we'll I find think evidence? There has to be. Yeah. Do you think we'll find of it? Because oh, I don't. I think not for a long you know, time. Mars, Mars is not uh, habitable, uh, but it could be possible that aliens are underneath, because it's, it's the the atmosphere sucks, so you would go underground to stay away from the radiation, and it was found that water is actually under the ground, so it would only make sense that we would build tunnels. And humans are pretty actually good at that. Um, we're good. I think we that is, I think, I think if we, aliens or, A life form. I don't. I, I looking on has changed and advanced, and technology has grown so greatly that we would be closer to number than any of our other ancestors would be. Okay. I don't doubt it would happen in a lifetime, but I gotta say, like, <laughs> I, I think we will. I think we'll like get to Mars. Two thousands, two thousand and four. Yes. Um, compared to today, I doubt anyone in 2004 could walk around and understand completely what's going on today. Oh, like, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounded like a movie, 2012. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, like, it wasn't until the 2010s that, like, tablets and iPhones, like, smartphones became yeah. a thing. And it's it was the yeah. other type of phones. <laughs> I, I think learning is phones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Nokia's. Who has Nokia's anymore? Save the world with Nokia. Unbreakable. Nokia. Right? Build a rocket ship out of those. <laughs> Will not break. Ever. I think, I think there's a chance... Okay, I don't think we're ever gonna find in our lifetimes. Expecting we're gonna live to a hundred, all right, hundred. That's pretty high. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna I, get. I think that's very gonna get there. That's overachieving. <laughs> no, I think. So as a human race, or as as a, a like a person. Like the average lifespan of someone's life experience. is going to eventually get to a consistent a hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's seventy nine. Um, last time I checked was about mm, probably like three weeks ago. Yeah. In an ever-expanding universe, I think that the stars will align just right again sometime. Nice. So I and I think that our world will align, our world will end, their world will start. We're all doomed. No, no. Oh, but so yes. okay. So <laughs> the average age to live to is seventy-nine currently, and it's high. so. Yeah, it's really high. But without medicine, we would only live to the age of 35. 
and that's what people either finish having their kids or sometimes start having kids. It's you know, so it's like just think about it. Like guys, come on. I I also got it. Um, also, um, also think about um, is like even though like the average age is like seventy nine, we still have so many people that like die in their late eighties. Like my great grandmother. 97 I think and Ooh. my grandfather died at 86 or yeah you have to think of the outliers and also genetics and stuff like that like think of all the people that sure. might get in a car wreck at the age of you know 16 it's really mm-hmm. unfortunate but that's you know we have these outliers that you have to take into consideration also and bring it down yeah so for it to get to a hundred on average you know sometime I think it makes sense and I just don't see how we could be in existence for a hundred years and there be nothing else alive in the universe. So it just, I, I just, I just think that it's so big that, and we don't know how to travel it, that it, it's just, it's, true. Yeah. it's just there. I also got to say, and also something to think about one year for us is quite short compared to like other yeah, yeah planets and stuff it'll like for us time is just how we like perceive as you've said it too Savannah like time is just how humans perceive is like a human thing we so, created it yeah. it's not a real scientific Sometimes you know it happened in a hundred years seems like an obvious thing but also right. much very little could happen in a hundred years yeah like it all depends on what happens yeah, true. Time's relative. Time's relative. All right. Well, we talked about a lot. Do we want to close it out there? There must be something living out in the universe, even for the last, you know, 1,000, 8,000 years. Or, you know, we're in 2020, man. I mean, anything's possible. There has to be something out there. I just don't think that we, we have don't bring the up 2020. <laughs> power. Honestly, what a crap year. <laughs> So, Jeez. but this could be in history books. Then again, I gotta say, one, it's election year. Bad things happen at, all the time. Oh, that's true. Year. That's true. Oh, everything's bad. Every, all things happen bad. But hey, if people, aliens ever see what happened here, they're gonna be like, uh-uh. They're gonna have they a stay away for a like, reason. Oh, we're yeah. <laughs> They're gonna steal they're gonna be like our oak low-key. saplings and then dip. <laughs> that, they're probably gonna be like Loki and like they need someone to like say you need to do this and it's not yeah. gonna end well. I think they're slowly trying to wiggle their way into our government and either help us out or take us down. Although we're taking ourselves down, so you know. Or there's the aliens. Maybe that's what they're trying to make us think. So Are you an alien? Kind of thing. <laughs> That's Are a good you? episode for the next time. Self conscious. Is Savannah an alien? Yeah, right? Mom. Alien? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, any final thoughts before we close them out? Aliens exist. I'm sorry. I'm not aliens sorry. Actually, good. I'm living through. I'm messing with you. All right. Well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down. Do you believe in aliens? Where are they at? You know what it is. It's the Phoenix Podcast. See you in the next one. There you go. Peace. Fireball.